Hey everyone, let's look at Karakan today, and let's hope that I won't run out of openings uh, before my 100th video. I guess I have to go to some strange gambits or such. So, in Karakan there's um, so many ways that the game can um, progress. I mean, it's a, it's a bit like French defense. There's not... Um, any like big main uh, long main line so um, let's just let's just explore a little bit and see what we find d5 knight c3 d takes e knight takes e and here black plays bishop f5 usually um, also, knight d7 is possible, and um, I can't remember what that variation was called. And knight f6, um, those are all playable, but let's look at bishop f5 now. Knight g3, um, hitting the bishop, bishop g6. And here white usually plays h4 uh, in this uh, Sera 1 variation. Um, white can also just go knight f3, bishop c4, knight 1, e2, um, many things. Knight h3 even. Um, f4 doesn't look bad either. So, but okay, let's look at the most popular line. I mean, this pawn might become weak at h5 later, but this is still the most common. And here, white usually plays knight f3 instead of the imme immediate uh, h5. So, and black develops his queen side. I mean, he's uh, going to castle there most likely. So h5, uh, black tucks the bishop, and then, yeah, sorry about the black rank, uh, bishop d3, exchanging um, the bishops, which is uh, something that usually happens in, in Karakan, uh, when black is kind of happy to finally get rid of this bad bishop, um, that he, with great effort, placed here, but is still uh, happy to make this exchange. Now, usually e6, with this kind of pawn triangle, except there's no top pawn, but, but this really solid structure is uh, difficult to break. It's really good in bullet, like, uh, it's almost like reversed um, London uh, opening. So, also just knight g f6 developing or queen c7, but let's look at the most common lines. There's so many possibilities that that we have to pick pick one line. So, bishop f4 or bishop d2, a bit more modest and uh, not so successful are basically the options here. Let's look at bishop f4, it's more aggressive. Here, queen to a5, check, or um, also just developing the king's knight to f6, uh, which is not as aggressive, and uh, also bishop f bishop b4 check uh, looks pretty good for black. Um, it's definitely something worth worth looking at. But let's stick with the the most played variation queen a5. Okay, usually bishop retreats and now queen goes here. So black was able to lure white's bishop into a slightly um, less favorable position. Now black can just castle long. Um, 
um, sorry, white, <laughs> white can cast a lot. Let's let's look at other options. There's really not um, anything else that would would be really really popular, except something like maybe ninety four has good results, but I don't know if that does much. So this is surprising. I thought that white would uh, uh, usually castle king side. Okay, so here black plays usually knight f6 and um, here white can play this knight e4 move um, here black castles and if white plays something like g3 then uh, he has good winning chances and uh, it's highly drawish but at least black doesn't have that uh, that good chances to win so does this refute the Karakhan and also a move like King B1 just consolidating has good results for white but if white plays something like C4 immediately that doesn't seem to work for white or Knight takes f6, which is I think too aggressive. Those moves are just too too aggressive. So let's look at g3. Okay, black exchanges knights. And here black can play knight f6 or bishop d6. Let's look at knight f6. Looks better. Queen e2. Bishop d6 c4 c5 and this is the point where black attacks white's d pawn uh, it comes at some point anyway in Karakhan usually with c5 or e5 and um, let's see what happens bishop c3 just maintaining the tension which is uh, often the best choice in chess um, c takes d, knight takes d is most common. Um, also, bishop takes d looks really good for for white actually. a6, king b1. Uh, you didn't see the move, but <laughs> okay, rook d7 probably looking to looking to double it's a pretty easy uh, plan to guess uh, easy for the opponent to guess uh, what what rook d7 is for and rook c1 okay it's a sensible file uh, opposite to the opponent's king and queen and here uh, black immediately makes an ev evasive move and here there's not so many games anymore um, and this is called the classical Karakhan and Spassky variation so not sure where Spassky variation started but but looks like this is this is close to the truth this is really um, really common and not so many games from this position. White can play knight f3, knight b3, f4, trying to prove that he has an advantage. But as the kings are on on the uh, same side of the board, um, I would say it's it, it's a draw if if black plays correctly. So. Yeah, let's look at the, if there's some some kind of uh, cross rope that we should be we should be covering something that would make a difference. Um, in this end end position or difference in the uh, advantage. 
Um, well, here is this bishop b4 move, but it's it's not a big difference um, in terms of percentage. Um, and it's not very common either so there has been not the the theory hasn't hasn't developed in that line so of course this is just one way that black can play um like we like we talked about black and play knight of six and then it's a whole different story but perhaps those positions are easier to handle from the tactical point of view perhaps it's more positional chess where it's really important where you place your minor piece in the long run and, and stuff like that but I'm not interested into looking at that right now um, so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I think I will study this um, 22 moves, moves for both and uh, hopefully you do the same. Take care, bye.